There are so many hints at the Void returning from Queen Ashara and the Veil of the Void to Cosmological Void and Shul the Cosmic Wanderer, Shadow of Azeroth and of course the old gods are just everywhere. At the same time, Anduin is missing and is searching for something after he worked for a guy that was more than certainly aware of this Void threat and Anduin probably realized there is a lot more that can be done to save Azeroth other than just simply being a king and leading the alliance. Then we have that old comic where he's leading Azeroth in a battle against the Void in a vision where he is an old man. As we can see by Terelian who had aged 500 years over the course of two decades, we know time functions differently which means the next time we see Anduin he may be that old man that will save us in the battle against the Void that awaits. What are all the hints that we currently have and when is he actually returning? If you guys want to buy Total War, Elder Scrolls or any other game, you can get them at great prices with my Gamevo link. You can also get anything Warcraft related, gift cards and software and all below market prices. Best of all, if you add my code DORON, you can get an even bigger discount. So make sure to check out my link in the description and get some amazing deals with Gamevo. The Son of the Wolf comic that came out some years back has been sort of like half accurate. On some occasions we've counted it as an actual vision, then on other Blizzard sort of said you know some visions may happen, some may not, it isn't all that accurate. However, what has been happening this past year and the most recent hints that we've gotten even as far as 10.1.5, it really seems like this prophecy may turn out to be completely true, maybe not in the exact same scenario that we had seen, but definitely pretty close. So as you may remember the comic itself originally came out during Legion. There was this first part where Anduin was haunted by the words of his father who had just sacrificed himself on the broken shore and it was all very hard on Anduin. But at the end there was this sort of an unexpected twist and unexpected scene with the prophet Velen and a really old man Anduin, old as in like having a hard time getting out of a chair old. This seems like a vision where once again we are facing off a huge threat just as big as the legion if not bigger. Velen says now is the opportunity to strike and Anduin says now is the only chance we need for all those who had fallen. Then Velen says light will triumph over the shadow of this day and Anduin says let it begin. Now what is really interesting is that Blizzard actually went back some years later and modified this and removed that part where the light will triumph over the shadow to make it a bit more wake but the tone is definitely still there that we can speculate from. If you notice the comic like the entire light of that scene is purple as if we're facing off a threat that is similar to the cosmic void and I just want to say like this makes absolute sense when we compare the info that we currently have and that is currently being foreshadowed. People have previously seen this as some vision of like the ending of World of Warcraft because Anduin at the time was like 20 and he's like 80 in this universe but I feel like this could legit be happening soon maybe like as soon as the next expansion and it is very likely that we could see Anduin actually coming back and here is why. Now Anduin is not just like some forgotten character left to rest for an expansion, he has been like in a ton of actual cinematics, probably more so than any other World of Warcraft character and Blizzard actually gave us hints of his whereabouts right at the start of Dragonflight as we got a dialogue with Gen, which means that he is definitely going to be relevant soon. We learned that he had appointed Terelian as a regent in his absence and Grimin and Shaw as the advisors to the King of the Alliance. We learned that people miss their king even though the nobles have grown to like Terelian. We also learned that Gen has sent agents to find and search for Anduin but he's just elusive and just impossible to track down. There have been alleged sightings of him but nothing has been officially confirmed. Now just this fact alone that they talk about him sort of appearing and being relevant in my opinion is a really strong foreshadowing that he will be coming back otherwise they wouldn't really even mention him. What is unclear though is whether these sightings have been on Azeroth but as far as we know he has been in the Shadowlands and possibly traveling to other universes to other realms so he can get to the truth of the matter. Now something I think a lot of people get wrong is that Anduin has stepped down as king like due to the trauma of being a pawn of the jailer and while I do think this might be a tiny part of the story I think it really just goes beyond him just like needing therapy and a bit of rest from the mind control he had received. I know like for a reason most of us just want to pretend Shadowlands never even existed but the reality is that the entire Shadowlands expansion was just foreshadowing for the ultimate villain we are yet to discover something bigger than anything we had ever seen 
everything. Despite the Jailer being behind everything, being 200 IQ, super intelligent, crazy villain, he really was driven by some sort of a purpose to unite the universe and face off the what is to come, which once again is being foreshadowed in Dragonflight, with a ton of these cosmic void hints, cosmic wanderer being related to the void and all sorts of other stuff. My guess is that Anduin, just like Svanas, had a much broader view of what was going on and as they were accomplishing the goals of the Jailer, they realized that an enemy of Azeroth exists that no one even knows about and personally, I think that is exactly what haunts Anduin, what caused him to step down and just go on this crazy search. He realized that just leading a kingdom on Azeroth is not going to do anything, like no matter what happens, we will all fall to this evil and he needs to travel, learn what is going on and help lead the forces of Azeroth in this ultimate battle that will be happening. Now this is exactly where this comic comes in, it is especially important to notice that Velen is here who also has visions of the future and probably is also like half aware of what is going on, however you may be thinking like Anduin is super old in that comic, I mean how exactly is it going to make sense, we only got a 3 year time skip and he's still in his 20s, now on this logic you may be right, but I think this kid 100% be bypassed with the exact same logic they used for Tyrellian back in Legion, Tyrellian despite being old is not actually that old, Old, but he has lived for more than 500 years. He was a young man when he left and then he traveled across different planets, across different realms and cosmological shenanigans with the army of the light and pretty much got 5 human lifetimes to gather experience and to become more wise. This is exactly what I can see happening with Anduin but only that he has been missing for like 3 years with the time skip and if he returns soon probably like 5 years total, meaning something akin to 100 years may pass in his universe. This first of all could bypass the big biggest issue everyone had with Anduin as a leader and that is that he was too young and naive and also it would explain that comic and the vision that is to come and why he's just so old in that comic. Now while we are getting hints of the void actually coming soon in Dragonflight and the old gods, this ultimate battle might not actually be the void itself. As I said, they actually went back, they replaced some dialogue, they made it vague, even back then they used the word shadow as opposed to the void, which if you really think about it can be interpreted as just a dark force is coming to Azeroth, so that final battle that we had seen might not be a light versus void battle that everyone has been talking about, but it could be the battle against the major villain that we are to discover that was foreshadowed back in Shadowlands, we've constantly been getting new lore of how the cosmic void may not be as evil as we thought and may just be another force exactly as the light, we've been getting the lore of the light being quite evil as well, so I really don't think this ultimate battle where Anduin returns is going to be as black and white as in us the light, going to battle the void, the bad guys, but probably us as the united forces of Azeroth fighting against this evil that is to come. Of course, it is impossible to speculate, but I'm guessing with the new Titan lore, the first ones, all these crazy shenanigans that are always happening behind the scenes, we could learn what exactly is going on and who this enemy is that the Jailer was aware of. Then, just like how Tyrellian came out of nowhere to save us and lead during Legion in the battle against Sergenas, Anduin can come back with the knowledge of the entire cosmos and to guide both of our factions as we stand united as the forces of Azeroth. Thank you for watching, check out the hints of Troll returning in the next expansion by clicking on the screen and check out Doron's Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time!